this is a big game, historical game, and I really just want to do the best for my team. I know all the guys trust me, so I just wanted them to give more trust in, like give them more trust in myself. The fourth and one stop. What did you see on that play, shooting again after that and tapping? I mean, coach gave me a blitz, and I just had to make sure, don't let them down, make sure I make this play right here because this is a game-changing play. They were in high red, so if they get that first down, it's a high chance of them scoring. How much do you enjoy those type of plays where you are coming up and blitzing for shooting a gap like that? Um, it's fun, especially if you come free and them, them big guys come grab you, so you just get free. And it's easy tackle, it's a layup, I and mean, because we always emphasize on making the layup. Notice from West Virginia's office, just watching on tape, things like that, where you're free, all kind of skiing for yeah, I, um, I mean, they're kind of the same as um, Oklahoma State. They have a good, they have good running backs, a good quarterback that can run and throw. They got some big tight ends, big receivers that they take shots. So we just got to be able to defend the run and keep everything in front of us. You got to play a little bit against West Virginia last year. What do you remember about that game? The challenges that they presented. Well, really, they gave me my welcome to college moment. I'll be honest, like, I wasn't prepared to go out there. They, they love blocking, I can see. The O-linemen love blocking. That's their, that's their strength of their team. So as long as we can take care of the O-line and dominate the line of scrimmage, we should be okay. How did you gauge the belief in the locker room right now? Um, we we all sticking together. Like everybody on the internet is probably harassing us, telling us how like after Texas we fell off, but we all got each other's back. So as long as we got each other's back, we're not really worried about anybody else. Was it hard to reset on a day like today after you lost two in a row? Kind of come back in and practice on Monday. I mean, we can't we can't go back in the future and change anything. So why well, try to go back? Now, Coach V always says live in the moment. So that's all we're doing right now is living in the moment. I know you and Gentry are tight. So you see, you watch a guy like that after he's kind of battled through some injuries uh, throughout the season at this point, but having to walk off the field under a lot in a, in a lot of pain. Yeah, that was tough because that's my guy. You know, we're both from the 918, and both our even both our parents are super close. So just seeing that he was there when I had my surgery on my shoulder, so I'm just there for him. Whatever he has going on right now, I'm just always in his right corner. Comfort in knowing you guys will be back at home after this two road games fall. I mean, I love Sooner Nation. I know Sooner Nation is going to bring that energy, so it's definitely a, um, a blessing because I know the West Virginia is going to have a hard time here because our team, I mean, our fans are super loud. I feel like you guys have to do right now as a secondary just to kind of tighten some gaps in the play. Just work on our footwork, you know, tune up the little things. Really, everything is just inches. Like, we're just, we're right there. So, if we tune up these little things, we'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> what lessons do you think you guys take mostly from last year's game at West Virginia? Um, get, um, get rid of them early. You know, we kept them around, gave them the momentum, and then they just took it and ran with it. So, as long as we can get them done early, we should be fine.